Welcome guys to the third episode of my FIFA 15 My Player Career Mode series. Thank you guys for your support on both episode number one and episode number two. If you guys have missed those episodes, there will be a playlist link in the description. Sorry about episode two, Shorty didn't really do much as he was rested for the first couple of games of the A-League season. But we are going to play this game against Central Coast Mariners. Shorty will be starting in the striker position with David. Via and Damien Duff alongside him. Absolutely insane. Shorty starting his career alongside David Via. If you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure to drop the video a like rating. Drop your comments down below. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss a video from me in the future. These will be coming out two to three times a week, so make sure you stay tuned for that. If you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of my Barcelona career mode, make sure to check the channel page and catch up on that. This is Central Coast Mariners side, obviously. They don't have one of the strongest teams in the A-League. But I really hope that this Melbourne City side could get a victory here. We're currently sitting ninth, and Central Coast is currently sitting 3rd. And as I said, Shorty will be playing alongside Damien Duff and David Villa in this game. Also, Corrin, the former Hull City player, will also be playing in the midfield. But let's get into this game. Against Central Coast, as in the 26th minute, Shorty down the wing here. He's going to cut inside. He's going to make his way inside the box. He does go down inside the uh, penalty box. Could have been a penalty, but it was not to be. And it was a pretty boring first half, as you guys saw there, from the match, backs, ma match facts. Sorry. But from that, from kickoff, at the beginning of the second half, Shorty's going to win the ball. He's 1-1 one -on -one with the goalkeeper. I didn't really know what to do. I didn't really know the strengths or weaknesses for Shorty's finesse shots. Obviously, he's only 70 overall. His shot does come off the goalkeeper, so we came close to getting the first goal of the A-League season. And obviously, not the first goal of Shorty, obviously... He has scored in a couple of friendly games. But from the title, guys, you guys probably already know. It is titled Hat Trick Hero. And in today's episode, Shorty will be getting his first hat trick as a professional footballing player. And as you guys see there, he came real close to getting the first goal of this game against Central Coast. His shot does come off the crossbar. And as the defender went to clear it off the line, he also hit the crossbar. So, yeah, came close. Central Coast had a chance in that 89th minute. But from that... Their shot does go way over the bar, and at full time, it is nil nil. So, a bit of a boring game against Central Coast. Obviously, Shorty couldn't have got the first goal of his A League season. This was actually his first game um, playing for Melbourne City in a a competitive game in the A-League, but my match rating was 6.1, a very bad match, not bad match, but a match where I could have done better, and let's hope that we can improve on that in the next coming of games. As you guys see there, we really didn't have much of the possession, we only had 42% of the possession, but from that, we will be rested for this game against Western Sydney Wanderers in the league. Let's hope that our boys could get the victory here, as I said, we're currently sitting ninth in the league so I really hope that we can make our way up the table as it is Cole who gets the goal for Western Sydney Wanderers put them 1-0 in the lead Damon Duff gets a goal in the 51st minute to make it 1-1 but Bridge in the 73rd minute gets that goal to to win Western Sydney this game against Melbourne City but we are going to be playing the next game against Newcastle Jets the team that was that had uh, Emil Heskey in their squad but sadly Heskey has retired so let's get into this game David Villa will also be playing alongside me which is insane so as I said Newcastle Jets in the A-League let's see where we're currently sitting in this A-League season I really hope that we can improve on where we're currently sitting and Malka make our way up the table because I really want to win the A-League. I only want to stay one season with Melbourne City, to be honest with Shorty. I want him to move on to bigger and better things. As you guys see, there, new, the Newcastle Jets side, they do have Flores in the central attacking midfield position. But let's have a look at our side, the Melbourne City side. And as you guys see from here, um, Damien Duff was rested for this game. So we are still playing a very strong side um, for the squad that we do have and as I said Shorty in the striker position but let's see how he goes in the second competitive game in the A-League but in the 36th minute of this game Newcastle just have the first chance and as they are going to be rewarded a penalty there as our centre back does go down trying to win the ball he goes for a slight tackle he does take down the Newcastle Jets attacker 
and they are awarded a penalty. So this is a very bad start to the game. And as you guys see there, I thought our centre back actually got the ball there, but he didn't. It was a very close challenge. But Flores is going to take it for Newcastle Jets. Can the man in goals save it? No, he can't. Flores goes for the chip. He puts that one into the back of the net. And Newcastle do lead 1-0. But in the 45th minute of this game, Newcastle Jets come close to doubling their league lead. Sorry, but a nice save there from our goalkeeper. But in the 50th minute of this game, Shorty's going to receive the ball just outside the box. He's going to take a shot. And a nice save there from the Jets goalkeeper. So Shorty coming close yet again to getting that first competitive goal in the A-League. But we're going to push on into the 72nd minute as Shorty is going to receive the ball just outside his attacking box and as you guys see here he is going to whip in a cross his cross yeah, does find the midfielder but his header just goes over the bar so Melbourne City coming having some real good chances here in the later stages of this game in the 90th minute Shorty does have a header and his header just goes wide of the bar but at full time we will be getting a loss and Shorty is having a lot of chances to get in this first goal in the A-League season but he is putting it wide but you guys already know from the title something big is going to happen in the next game of today's episode so we do get a loss there Shorty gets a 6.2 rating so yet again not one of his best games in the first two games of his A-League seat of his A-League career that haven't been the best games and let's hope that we can improve from those performances in the future but as you guys see there we didn't complete any of our targets which was bit which was a bit disappointing but we are being rested quite a lot so I can't really do all the targets that my manager does want me to do as we are being rested for this A-League match against Sydney FC let's hope that the boys could get a victory and obviously Ramsey that is my main rival I have to start over him if I really want to get a starting position. Now, as you guys see there, Damien Duff and David Villa do get goals to win us this game against Sydney FC. But getting into the final game of today's episode against Central Coast Mariners in the league. Shorty will be starting in the striker position. And let's hope that he can get his first goal playing for Melbourne City in the A-League. And as I said, Hattrick Hero is the title of today's episode. Will I be able to do it in this game against Central Coast Mariners? Wait and see, guys. As we get into the gameplay highlight of this game, the first chance actually fell to us. As in the first minute of this game, Shorty's going to give a throw-in. We do have the ball in our midfield. I do ask for it. I do have the ball. I'm going to play it wide to my other midfielder. Look at this play from Melbourne City. A great ball to me. Shorty's going to get a, a great turn around his centre back. He's going to smash that one front post. And Shorty gets his first goal in Melbourne City colours in the A League. And what a turn that was. Just to turn his defender with ease and just smash that one front post into the back of the net. And as you guys see there, the replay just shows just how good of a goal that is. And what a strike that was from our my. Player. And as you guys see here, in the 22nd minute of this game, Mariners had a chance to level things at 1-1. And they do do so as their attacker puts that one into the back of the net and the Mariners make it 1-1. But from that, from that in the 23rd minute, from that in the 32nd minute, it is Mariners who have another chance and their shot does hit the crossbar. So we are um, very lucky there to not lose, um, to, to, to go down, sorry. But as you guys see here, Shorty has got the ball in the midfield. He's going to move into his attacking half. What's he going to do here? He's going to try and get around the midfielder. He's actually going to do so. He's going to play a great through ball there to Damien Duff. And Damien Duff shot does go wide. So we had a chance there. And sadly, actually, Damien Duff was offside from that. Getting into stoppage time of the first half, Mariners had a chance of their own as they are going to whip in across. Their attack is going to get ahead onto that one. The Melbourne City goalkeeper does say that one. It comes off the crossbar, and from that, that was the first half. But in the 53rd minute of this game, Shorty's got the ball just inside his attacking half. He's going to make a, do a great run here. He's going to take a shot. It comes off the crossbar, comes off the goalkeeper, and it goes into the back of the net. So Shorty gets a second goal of this game against Central Coast Mariners and as you guys saw there 
a bit of an AD goal. He did take a shot, quite a long strike from Shorty. He did come off the crossbar, but as I said, it came off the goalkeeper and he went into the back of the net. A very lucky goal, but it does count as a goal. And we do get the second goal of this game. Let's hope that we can complete this hat trick. And as, as you guys saw there, it did come off the goalkeeper. As I said, a bit of an AD goal. But it is a goal, and it is the second goal of Shorty's professional career in the A-League for Melbourne City. And let's hope that he can get on to bigger and better things in the future. So, from that, guys, we're going to push on. As Mal Central Coast Mariners, they do have the kickoff. They're going to try and push it into their attacking half. Shorty does win the ball, but the Mariners do win it back. But from that wide a ball from our midfielder, it is Damien Duff. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Shorty's going to call for the ball. He's going to get it. And my man, Louis Shorty, is going to complete his hat-trick. Bit of a sweaty goal there, but I don't care. I have got my first hat-trick as a professional footballer. What a win, guys. We are going to be picking up the victory also against the Mariners. I do take a shot here, but it does come off the defenders. And from that, I'm actually going to get subbed off, guys. That's right. I'm going to get subbed off for David Villa, who will be making his way onto the ground. So, a great performance from me. I did pick up three goals guys in this game and as you guys see here the commentators were talking about my hat trick the third goal was shown and as I said David Villa will be coming onto the ground as I do make way for him and what a performance from my player guys I was really happy playing this game really enjoying it and I really am enjoying playing these my player career mode episodes so as I said I did get subbed off I ain't going to simulate the rest of the game against the Central Coast Mariners let's hope that this does earn me a starting 11 position we did pick up a 5-1 victory so as shorty went off we did score an extra two goals in the next nine minutes if you guys have enjoyed the video drop the video a like rating drop your comments down below make sure you subscribe and other than that guys i'll see you all next time